Formula One returns to Interlagos once again with a stage set for what promises to be another classic Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012 and just four years later Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. We're racing today then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, 9 to the left and 6 to the right. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Blue and Russell, Fernando Alonso, Albon, Hamilton and Pierre Gasly, Latifi, Vettel, Yuki Tsunoda and Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Magnussen, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman and Esteban Ocon, Mick Schumacher and Guan Yu Zhou. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, we've already won the championship, so just relax and go and enjoy this race. You deserve it. That's not an ideal placement in your grid slot. You're going to need a good launch at the race start. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid is formed. Be ready with a clutch.
But we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. Talk to me, out. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving that they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Blue. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Nothing can challenge the leaders in the Constructors' Championship at this point. 
But so then, Ferrari have now moved out of sight and out of reach. It's another triumph for the Italian team as they claim the World Constructors' Championship. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us and we'll see you for the next one.